Hello there, welcome back to my tutorial. So in this lesson, I will show you how to create an alert view controller. So on press of save, we will get like two options. On press of cancel, it will like change label to save cancelled. And if we press save, we will get save successful. So let's get started. Here I have already created a new Xcode project. So under main node storyboard, I will view it as iPhone X. And uh, first I will drag and drop a button and a label. So button, here goes the button, center and a label on top. So here is the label. I'll increase the button size. So I'll make it square and in the center. It doesn't matter, keep it wherever you like. And I'll increase the size of the label as well. okay and in the center as well and just let's modify the button so let it say save and the text color will be white so text color will be white and go to bottom and select background color and it will be red and let's bump up the size a bit Okay, and now it's time to connect the outlets. So for label, this will be display label. And for the button, we need to create an action. So under the did receive memory warning, we will say save pressed. And this will be action and of type UI button. So we are done with the all like storyboard part so let's hop over to our view controller and start coding so first of all under view did load we will change the text to display label dot text equal to press save and now let's start by creating our alert view so first say let alert view equal to ui alert controller and open parentheses and you will get this bunch of options we will select this title message and preferred style so title will be let's say save and message will be do you really want to save question mark and preferred style just hit dot and you will get two options uh, try both of them uh, I will try action, uh, action sheet and Let's do one thing. Once I get uh, done with this, I will show you the action uh, style as well. So now we need to create a cancel button. So UI alert action, open brackets and this one. So title will be cancel and style will be dot destructive. And for action handler, we will say action and code will be, we will change our display label. So display label dot text equal to um, save cancelled and let's create a save button so save equal to ui alert action and this will be title save and style will be hit dot and let's say default and for handler we will say action again and for code we will say display label dot text equal to save successful and so okay uh, we need to okay just do self dot display label because it's a closure and we need to first of all assign this buttons actions to our uh, alert controller so we will say alert view dot add action and first we will add our cancel then I'll copy this paste it here and here I will say save and we need to present the view controller as well so present view controller to present here I will pass in alert view animated true and completion will be nil we don't need to handle the completion of the alert view so let's run the application no errors no warnings this was my previous application so this is the one we built 
and hit save you get the alert sheet you say cancel it say save cancelled if you press save it will say save successful and there should be one more L here and let's try an action uh, another styles okay so here I will say just alert so this time I guess it will come in between like in between the screen I guess if I remember so hit save you get cancel it says save cancel if you say save it will say save successful so guys that's how you use alert view uh, you are not supposed to change the output level you definitely need to process the data which you need to process under this uh, alert actions so do as you may seem and if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and subscribe for future videos